I, I tell you what, they'll never get all these guns off the street. No, they won't. I mean, they may get some of them off, but six or seven of them they ain't gonna get. Mm-mm. I got, I got six or seven. <laughs> they'll never get all these guns off the street, so you got coming with some other solution, but these kids having these guns, man, it's out of control. But it ain't just a kid. This boy was 14, but in Chicago, boy, uh, just got on the train and just started shooting, shooting, mm. shooting sleep people. That's Killed just four a, people. They was on the train sleep. That's just yeah. a demon, man. That's just a, that's uh, it is. That's just a that's demon. Exactly to get something to have, to have that disregard spirit. for Disregard for life, man, that's just a demon, man. You think it's just evil or you think it's a sense of hopelessness, man? If it's hopeless. Because if a brother is hopeless, man, that's one reason I'm for the lottery. It gives a low down man who has no other chance to quote unquote. A two dollars chance worth of becoming a millionaire. I he agree got with you a now. Chance of, he got a chance. To change he his always life. got a chance. To change his life. But this hopelessness shit, uh, to me, that's what drives a person to do something like that. Just, just hopeless, man. He just got no, no, no chance in life in his mind. No chance to ever achieve anything. He got no respect, and he just like, hey. So why are you gonna what, take what other people with a, you? What does killing a, another human being? Thank you, bro. So, so here's here's the deal for me. Hope and he I'm, don't get caught. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not justifying what it could be, but in talking with some people, because uh, I am a life coach, and some of the decisions that you are what? I'm a life coach. <laughs> so yeah, it's, got a new okay. title. <laughs> no, I am. I'm a certified life coach. I, you are what? I'm certified a, life. Coach. I am. But and in talking it, with some, and I do have a few guys that I talk with. Some of the decisions that they do, have they know you got a razor blade in your mouth. I left it in a car today. I specifically left it in a car today. <laughs> you a life coach? Yeah. And, and you only coach, coach. middle aged yeah. men too, right? No, now. I, I, have, I have women and men. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let y'all. Go ahead, CJ. That you my friend. I'm sorry. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, man, and I'm just gonna confess. Yeah. You pull that razor blade out your mouth. <laughs> hey, I had a dream. This <laughs> guy's scared. Everybody I had was a dream scared. Dream that night, man. <laughs> I don't want to think about what it was. <laughs> it was bad, boy. Yeah. I believe it. <laughs> she thought about it. like I'm a light coat, but now nah, I had to take light. I've heard about that before, you yeah. know. I did too, overseas. But I never actually really seen it. Right. And she said, my mama told me about you, and I'm going to pay with you, and I'll cut you. I'm like, got the money. <laughs> yeah, I don't play with you. Hey, Mama JJ. Hey, hey mama, mama JJ, JJ. but your daughter said, and my mama told you about me about me. Did you teach her to put that razor blade on her tongue like that? <laughs> no, my mom is very poor, poor and elegant. I mean, well, she knew her too. Well, you poor and elegant. We never knew you had it out of your tongue. <laughs> you're, hell, you're a life coach. Yeah. <laughs> Take life, coach. Walk around with a damn Gillette yeah. razor in your damn mouth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, but, because you coach, because she coached it, she like, he's a killer, he's a killer, he's a killer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Don't do that because someone watched this show. No, when you did that, I was ready for what the I, cut. What, but what like, I'm saying is, I'm not justifying why people do what they do, but to your point, um, Bo and um, Brian, it's cliche hurting people hurt people and so when you get to the root of what's going on with people it goes back to what you're saying that hopelessness and don't nobody care or especially when something has been done to them yeah you're right you know and so they they lash out the only way that they think they know how especially when something has been done to a man Mm. you know so and again i'm not justifying i'm not saying that's the reason Mm. are they trying to be heard is what you're saying well, they're lashing they out matter. in the pain that they that they are enduring, that they have endured. I'll tell you something else. I never heard of a school shooter girl. You only had one. You had one. Uh, no, you had, ain't uh, no girl. girl. Transgender ain't no damn girl. No. <laughs> What's that Stephen, Stephen King movie? Guy. Karen. Guy. No, but she was a girl that was Karen identifying as a boy. Huh? She was a girl that was identifying yeah, as a Yeah, you're boy. right. I do remember that. Yeah. Right. So she was a girl. Yeah. 
That was, but, but that's the only like, one. But you're but, talking about one out of the thousands that do it. Right. There's only a girl. Like, what's going on with these well, young that, men? That's not the only one. I, I think it's about two or three other ones where girl. Yeah, yeah it was girls. That's the only one. That's only girl. Even if you say two or twenty. Compared to the ratio of how many young men are doing it, it's still the it's numbers low. are astronomical. I'm going to say low. a big part of this, I think, is a lack of of just manhood in the world. I, somebody need to say these people is just becoming more and more pussified in the world where somebody hurt your feelings and now you got to go shoot up a mm. whole building. Like, you ain't never been taught to fight. And, and I understand that in, 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 in tough situations... Yeah, the the weak get swallowed up, but at the same time, if you're going to go get a gun, you should be having somebody on your hit list. Whoever bullies you, whoever gave you a wet willy, whoever, what's them things where they well, yank your drawers up your ass? Wedgie. Oh, wedgie. Wedgie. wedgie, yeah, you a know, I, I, I ain't never get that because <laughs> it never happened to a nigga like right, that. Right, right, right. I, I seen it done to people, and, and, and then you come back with a big ass brick and you bust that motherfucker head, and I swear to God he won't wedge you again. You, right. you'll, but it, you'll it never be a certified a, life, a life coach. coach. Yeah, it needs to be the life coach to tell you something right. like that. But the access that we have to guns, and like DC said, unfortunately, we're gonna better get them off the street. But it, it's just it's too easy. I don't know what we can do on how these kids can just get their hands on these guns and still know how to fire them. Like everything's from AR-15s to shotguns. Well, there's got to be something that's got to be done. Let's go back to the parents. Well, you gonna line figure out the guns outside, on the outside. You can line pretty much figure out anything that man. Let, let's go back to the parents. How how far are the parents out of the boy life that they you know have some problems like this? To help, you know, get him some help. I don't know if he had problems in the past. That's why I'm saying when he well, said that. Well, a lot of times parents, parents overlook mm-hmm. the children's, mm-hmm. you know, even mental problems. Mm-hmm. Parents just overlook. I'm quite sure mm-hmm. that your father looked at you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious, man. I'm, I'm quite sure mm-hmm. your dad looked at you, I don't know, 11, 12. <laughs> and he said, you know, I, I don't. You got it in it. <laughs> but another thing with the numbers, though. <laughs> how, how can I get kids, rid of this thing? But, but these kids aren't poor, DC. But, but what I'm most, saying, of, most of these kids that do these shootings and stuff, they're not poor. And they do the background. These, these, these are nice school districts. Um, like you don't see all of them like that's in the hood. You don't like it's not Martin Luther King or anything like that or Stone Mountain High School that had to shoot right. These are like nice, supposedly rural areas where these and they parents most have of, no problem. Most of them are fairly smart from what I've That's from what, what I'm saying. Man, so that just Ain't because, no window liquors killing nobody. Just because, that, exactly. just because you live in a nice home or your parents have money or you're coming from a good background, it doesn't mean that the child is not dealing with a situation and it's just like you said DC a lot of times they are overlooked you can't dress up a person that have a problem giving them the the games and dressing them up with the clothes yeah. and giving them the money you're only masking the situation that needs to be identified and unfortunately right. same you with a woman. Men same of, with a woman. well with a woman we are uh, we we talk you men I'm just do saying not same talk. with a woman you can't dress up you, but, you can't just you, you know so well, well, you, you we going to what 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 what, what, what <laughs> are we talking about what are we talking but about, our biggest we problem, talking about Jay, maybe our problem is we saying it as a problem Maybe they come from a place of privilege. Maybe because I know my parents got money. I know we got guns. I ain't never had to want for nothing. And I, if somebody messes with me, I can just go and take their life. Hey, so maybe we've been looking at this the wrong way, saying, hey, these kids got a problem, which um, from society they do. But maybe because these kids have always been to do what they what, want, what and when they don't get what they want, they just get a little timber tantrum and then just go hurt somebody. What I'm saying, what if, what if the kid was a model student in school, and when we saying the pants should be locked up, what if he just snapped and the pants like, Dang, yeah, no. well, see that, that kid coming? done set two, four, five dogs on fire. He done <laughs> fucked a couple cats. That kid done had the warning signs, man. Right. That kid been strangling yeah, germs. That's what they say shit, about all them up his ass. Like that all them, all them serial killers, signs. all them serial killers. They go back and they say they burned the cat. They right. set yeah. the cat on right. fire. Oh, just right. want to see something. And they cover, yeah. and they, co- they cover it up. They cover it up. Opposed to identifying the situation, so the more money, the better you are able to cover it up. Mm-hmm. So, and I just think that that's part of the reason you gotta talk. And I think one of the reasons why you find a lot of men that are doing or males that are doing these shootings because they don't have an outlet. Women, we have an outlet. You guys don't talk to each other. 
<laughs> so now, so about. now, hey, good blame. evening, everybody. Good evening, Tim, everybody. I'm not, bl- I'm not blaming it Tim on you, black. but I'm just saying. Tim Black, talk to us, man. She said we don't talk. We don't. Well, we don't. We don't. And you know that has a lot of. I mean, it's, I don't. I feel well, like we talk I, about some shit. We don't talk, we don't talk about, about all that. Like, we don't like women talking about you know my, your nuts hurt. Oh, my <laughs> you got lump. On, you got lump on your nuts, man. Right. What? <laughs> <laughs> but now the, the the school shootings culturally are different, right? Young brothers are shooting each other in each other's neighborhoods, in the streets, at gas stations, and white guys are just excited to go to school and pop their gun off. Do you think that Ethan Crumbly, remember that kid from Michigan? Mm-hmm. Yeah. His parents ended up getting 10 years. Like, how much accountability as a parent, when you see your kid going into gangs, going into high school, coming in late, things like that, when, when, are you, when does that accountability end? When does that teenager become their own person? Mm-hmm. What about the kid who uh, had the car wreck killed his friend and his mama knew he'd been driving over 100 miles per hour mm-hmm. often mm-hmm. in the car and didn't do anything so about she's, it. So well, she's, she's responsible. Okay. Exactly. Where does parental yeah. accountability lie? <laughs> where, 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 well, yeah. that was a question that I tell you. My but thing you. Is, I think it's a case-by-case case situation. It gets applied disproportionately to black parents regardless, though. Just like anything else in the court system, when you have something like that, if, if, a, if, a, if, a, if a 17-year-old black boy go in and, and do a drive-by, they'll disproportionately lock his parents up behind that and him just because the law allows for it. Now, let's think so, about that. Let's think about that. There's more black kids incarcerated than any other. So uh, are we going to lock up all them black parents just in the, from the hood? All the, every time they kill kid kill someone, you come in with it. Would that stop a lot of that crime? And that's why I said I think it's a, a case-by-case situation because you can. there are some parents that are really good parents, and they have no idea that their child is out there Doing the things that they're doing. They're then are they a good parent? I can't say that. They're, they're I, can't, I cannot. I cannot. I they're cannot agree parent. with that. They're, they're good parents, but they don't know what their kid are doing. So now the kid, they're a great parent, but they don't know what their kid is doing. And, and, now and the kid know. goes out and kills someone. I'm, I'm should with, they be I'm held I'm with Will. That ain't a good parent. If your 14 year old come in high, I can't agree with that. He come in high every evening, and he talking about killing people. Well, that's two different things. No, you cannot. Hold a parent that did not know that because you have some parents out here they are doing their job as a parent you have some children out here they are they have their parents food so it's a case by case you can i i, I cannot agree with now that. do you think well, it would be a, do case. you think it would be a case by case situation if there was a solid law in place that held people to a certain standard no matter what man if they had a law in place i'm telling you you start searching these little niggas at 13. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> come in <laughs> leave your house. hey daddy how you doing <laughs> turn around son <laughs> put your hands on the motherfucking wall <laughs> 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 <But yourself. laughs> I'm thinking to pat your ass now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just bought my report card. I got straight A's. I don't give a shit Kid. about that. Right. Mm-hmm. Spread mm-hmm. your legs and, and, and put your hands on the damn wall. And lift your tongue. Make sure hey, you got no rays under your damn tongue. Hey, you know what? I think it would make a difference guns, you now. You're going to need a metal detector in, in front door. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, I do want to say, I think we're getting in a thin line because mm-hmm. it's like uh, as society has started to take control out of the parents' hands. Right. In terms of you can't just raise a kid how you used to. You can't. Mm-hmm. You, yeah, I'm talking about you mm-hmm. can't whoop your kid. Mm-hmm. You know they you got can. they you got different do. strategies. Or they they got just time out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All these school shoes probably didn't even start before they had time out. Well, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? When it was just straight cold hard ass whoopings by teachers. I'm with class. you on that. The <laughs> teacher used to I'm whoop with your you on that. Hey, but I got a question about that. If you in a house where yeah. you got guns everywhere, you can't hit those kids. They might shoot your ass. Oh, uh, dog. You yeah. put some fear on them so they know not to touch it. I'm just saying. The problem is, you got to put fear in there their you go. heart at a young age. Before mm-hmm. they're old enough to yes. really know. Absolutely. I, I got a little granddaughter. I slapped the shit out of her. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because. Huh? She might shoot somebody, but she ain't gonna shoot me. Exactly. <laughs> because her, baby, if dead. you put some fear in there, I'm telling you what this yeah. not, this That's not right. putting your hands on your kids' shit. Mm-hmm. It's done. It's releasing them to do. They, they don't. They don't realize mm-hmm. the the simple bottom line is mm-hmm. they don't realize consequences mm-hmm. of what of their actions. Mm-hmm. Yep. I guarantee you, this fourteen-year-old boy never thought about before he did this. His the whole life, he fucked, man. Well, he mm-hmm. done. Yeah. He done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. DC, they don't get no whipping. DC, right. I had a cowboy Listen. boot print in my chest till I was 25. That's how my, that's <laughs> no, how I'm I want my daddy kicked it. Dad we rolled you. our eyes, you was going to get the shit slapped out of you. So, <laughs> so you knew better than to even roll your eyes, let alone, you'd be like, oh, if I shoot somebody, yeah. I, mm-hmm. I know yeah. I'm going to get more than the shit slapped out of Man, you. I could, they, don't consider, <laughs> they don't consider the repercussions mm-hmm. of that. Of action. that action. And I'm telling you, that's what a backhand or ass whipping. Yeah. Will do. It will make you think about if I do this, what's gonna happen? Well, one time. All creation said. I mean, we talk about the creator spare now. The rod, huh? spare the rod, spare the rod. We talk about mm-hmm. the creator of all. Mm-hmm. He even put in the word spare the rod, spare the child. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, one time yeah. I was on the end of the house, my mama called me and I said, "What." Man, all That's I heard was my mama oh, running down the hallway saying, mm-hmm. what? Yeah, what? She was what? running down yeah, the hallway and sound like Buffalo. Yes. Was I was so scared. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. My mom was with me one, one night with her. Y'all know what a pressure cooker is? No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. God. What part of the pressure cooker is? What part of the pressure cooker? The whole thing? The pot, nigga. The pot. <laughs> <laughs> she put some pressure on you. I'm going to put some pressure on you. The pressure on you. Yeah. My mom hit me in the head with a walk, so that sounds about right. Mm. Oh, wow. that explains it. Yeah, that, yeah. That, that's why your hair never grew back. Well, that's kind of <laughs> why they got the law in effect. The, the, the law in effect. Hot Wheels track on us. Uh, uh, hot she wheels stuck race to her hat, bro. Oh, the Hot yeah, Wheels race track. The orange one? Yeah. yeah, that was the choice. Yeah, because she could get off me and my two brothers at the same time with that damn uh that racetrack. It my racetrack, my mom used to put her, your head between her legs huh? and take the switch and Yes, sir. Take what? your weight. Yeah. Uh, like your head all your right. Legs. All okay. right, Mama JJ. <laughs> we'll be back here listening to this race. <laughs>